seriously? Seriously. Really? Really? Hmm. hmm. I thought I was going to wear the uh, kilt. Yeah. No, see, you said you didn't want to wear a kilt, so I said I would wear the kilt because somebody has to wear the kilt, right? We saw it in the video at the beginning, right, Leo? He always wore it to special occasions. I'm wearing the kilt, right? I I changed my mind. Though. Well, you didn't, you didn't tell me. I didn't get the memo. Hello. Yeah, but, um, you know, what about William Wallace? You know, Braveheart. Freedom! And? It's just not as funny with a girl in a kilt. I, 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 oh, oh, is that right? Is that yeah. right? Mr. Smarty Skirt? Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, what's my name? Sue. And? Scott. I'm, I'm sorry? Scott. I say, say it again. Scott. Yeah, thank All right. You. Thank you. Enough said. Thank you. And like the Scotsman of old, I am also not wearing anything underneath my kilt. <laughs> hey -o, hey -o, hey -o. These people can see London and France. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am protected by the mighty Haynes clan. Hey, it's great, it's good. Why, look, What's there's this? going to be, uh, and here it is. Why, What's this it's now? a. It's a, it's a box full of joke cards. Let me just... Uh, this has some relative yes. use. Oh, this, is a, this is a Keith family tradition. Oh, yes, the box of jokes. Mm -hmm. Right. Really? So should we start? Oh, sure. yeah, big time. Joke number one. A Scotsman went to a baseball game. And when one batter got a walk, he lightly tossed the bat and he strolls to first base and the Scotman stands up and yells, Run, man, run! <laughs> and the fan next to him says, no, 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 he doesn't have to run, he's got four balls. And the Scotsman yelled, Walk with pride, man, walk with pride! <laughs> Number two, eh? There was a young Scottish boy named Angus who decided to try life in Australia. So he moved down there and he got an apartment. And I know this one. Uh, two mm -hmm. weeks later, his sweet mother calls from Aberdeen. Oh, laddie, I hope you're doing all right down there. And he said, oh, I don't know, ma'am. I'm doing fine, but the people next to me are going crazy. The, the woman next door, she cries all night. And the man upstairs, he keeps hitting his foot on the floor. Well, I don't think you should be associating with people like that. Well, I don't, ma'am. I, I stay inside my apartment all day and all night playing me bagpipe. <laughs> Did you know that was coming? I don't know. Oh, you know what? That reminds me, when we were in Scotland and Ireland with the show, and we're in Limerick, and we're noticing that the local dialect, they don't pronounce, uh, well, they, their THs are pronounced like Ts. Right. So that night in the show, there's a, there's a line in a script, and it said two things, and, and you said, well, no, that wouldn't be two things, it would be two tings. Ting. Two tings. We're like, oh, of course, it would be two tings, right. Two. And Tom stood up and said, yeah, two tings, and then the turd. <laughs> <laughs> and that never failed to get us for years, to, years and years and years. And now it's time for a turd joke. <laughs> We've had one and two. Here's turd. Yeah, yeah, here's turd. Okay. An Irishman walks into a bar in Cork City and says to the bartender, excuse me, what's the quickest way to Dublin? Is it walking or driving? Well, what are you doing? I, 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 are you walking or driving? Well, I'm, I'm driving. Well, that'd be the quickest way then. <laughs> a guy walks into a bar and there's a seal sitting at the far end. And the seal says, oh, wow, you smell great. And that jacket is really good on you. And you know what? I really like that haircut and nice tan. And the guy says to the bartender, okay, who is that? And the bartender says, oh, that's the seal of approval. <laughs> Cue Tom doing a wonderful seal that we won't even attempt. Yeah. I see we're doing things going into a bar jokes. Uh, a pork chop goes into a bar and orders a drink. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> oh yeah? A tourist goes into a bar and there's a dog sitting in a chair playing poker. And the tourist says oh, to the bartender, is that guy really playing poker? And the bartender says, yeah, but he's not very good. Whenever he gets a good hand, he wags his tail. Ooh, <laughs> okay, a priest, a rabbi, a lawyer, a blonde, a redneck, and a dog all walk into a bar. <laughs> the bartender says, what, is this some kind of a joke? A, a penguin
Lynn walks into a bar and says, um, has my father been in here lately? And the bartender says, I don't know, what does he look like? <laughs> and you know, Tim... It's not only a penguin joke, is it? I, gu I guess not. Oh, did I, did I say it? No, I said it right. No, I said it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, what? Hey. This would have been so good in rehearsal, but <laughs> hey. Why rehearse when we can have fun? And, I th <laughs> and Tom would have told it better. You know, Tom's father, speaking of fathers, was Pop Wiggins on the KSTP Barn and Dance. Okay, and what he would do to prepare for his act, he would work out new jokes on his kids, right? Right? They, so he'd line up the kids. We've got David, Jeff, and Tom and Terry. And he'd make them listen to the jokes out of the joke box, right? And if they laughed, it was in. And if they didn't, it, it wasn't. And of course, all the jokes, maybe Tom and Terry didn't understand. Yeah. They were kind of little. There were Except few, the cornier ones, yeah, maybe. There were a few that yeah. you might, might have understood. Uh, what did the chick say when it saw an orange in the nest? Look at the orange marmalade. Chicken jokes. Yeah. I'm sure there were lots and lots of chicken jokes, which is probably why Tom was so good at chickens. I mean, his chickens were so good, they had their own personalities. Oh, yeah, for example, Emotions. Uh, there's this story about the chicken that goes into the library, goes up to the librarian and says, Bawk! The librarian says, book? Bawk! So she gives uh, the chicken a book, and he comes back about an hour later and says, Bawk! You want two books? Bok, bok. So she gives him two books. Well, a little while later, he comes back in. Bok, bok, bok. Three books, is it? Bok, bok, bok. So now she's getting suspicious. She gives him the three novels, decides to follow him. So they go outside, they go down the road, they go through the woods, they go down by the river, down by a swamp, and there's a bullfrog. And the chicken lays the books down by the bullfrog. And the bullfrog says, read it, read it, read it. <laughs> Okay, ham and eggs, right? Ham and eggs. A day's work for a chicken, a lifetime commitment for a pig. Why do chicken coops have two doors? Because if, if they had four, they'd be chicken sedans. Yeah, you're right. Been... <laughs> the chicken and the egg were lying in bed. And the chicken was very happy, smiling, smoking a cigarette. And the egg was clearly upset. And she said, well, I guess we've answered that question. <laughs> and uh, at this point, the little Keith kids, that would go over their head. That would go over their head. And when you uh, folks get home, you'll have a lot of splaining to do to your youngsters here. But he didn't only do chickens, of course. We shouldn't. No, 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 he did the entire fowl family. I mean, he taught us how to do geese, Canadian geese. Uh, 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 uh. And sometimes we do the fabric with the... Uh. Oh, yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, oh. By the way, uh, why do we, why is one side of a, a V formation of migrating geese longer than the other? I don't know why. Because it has more geese. Ah. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, right. Hello. And he, he taught us how to do ducks. Quack, quack, quack. Okay, go, go. So there's two ducks and they're swimming along and one of them says quack and the other one says, oh my gosh, I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> favorite joke of all time, and he loved this joke, and it's also from the animal family. What did the boy rabbit say to the girl rabbit? This won't take long, did it? Okay, thank you.